To find the oxidation numbers for each element here in MgCr2O7, magnesium dichromate, we'll use these rules to guide us. The first thing that we notice that this entire compound here, it doesn't have a minus or a plus after it. Because of that, it's not an ion, it's a neutral compound. And all the oxidation numbers, they're going to add up to zero. So that's useful. We also know that magnesium's in group two, so it'll have a plus two as its oxidation number. Chromium's a transition metal, has a number of different oxidation states, so we don't know that. We're going to call that X. Oxygen right here, always minus 2, with just a few exceptions. So each of these oxygens here, minus 2. And we said the whole thing's going to equal 0, so we can just set an equation up. 2 plus, and we have 2X here, because we have two chromium atoms. 2X plus 7 times the negative 2, so that's minus 14. That'll all equal our 0 here because it's neutral. So 2x minus 12 equals 0, 2x equals 12, and then x would equal a positive 6. And that's going to be the oxidation number on each of these chromium atoms. So each chromium atom has an oxidation number of plus 6. And those are the oxidation numbers for MgCr2O7. One last thing, you could have recognized that the Cr2O7, that's the dichromate ion, has an overall charge of 2 minus, and then you could have worked with that ion to find out oxidation number. Either way, you get the same number. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.